Hello and welcome to this video on setting up condition-based alerts in Insight. In this video, we're going to be setting up an alert to notify the user when there's an excessive vibration in a motor that's a part of a conveyor. To start, let's go into the menu and select the asset option to see all the assets in this environment. Here, we can search for the conveyor and select the conveyor. This opens up the asset page for the conveyor. Under the conveyor, I'm interested in motor 2. Clicking on it opens up the asset page for motor 2. Using the asset actions drop down menu, I select add alert. This opens the page where I can configure my alert. Here I'm going to add a name for my alert, motor 2 vibration, and a description, excessive vibration detected in motor 2. Then I can search for the tags for the asset that I would like to base my alert on. In this case, it's the inboard vibration. Once I select the tags, I can select when I want this alert to be triggered. In this case, I want it to be triggered when the inboard vibration value is greater than this value here. Next, if needed, we can add a prescriptive step. In this case, all I'm going to write out is carry out visual inspection. Next, I can choose what actions I want to be completed when this alert is triggered. In this case, I just want an email to be sent out to me. But I could have this alert trigger a workflow to create a work request in a CMMS or a EAM solution. Next, I can add consequence or failures if needed. Here, this is not required, so I'm going to skip the step. And finally, we have the summary of the alert. Once I click finish, the alert gets created. When the condition of this alert is met, I get an email notification that shows me the summary of the alert. I can go into the active alerts view and view all of the alerts that are configured in this environment. Here I can search for a specific alert, look at the status of the alert, edit the alert, or even suspend it.